Learning to embed a resume into your WordPress site has many advantages over just creating a link alone. One, it creates a visible graphic to break up the words so that your site is visually more appealing. Two, it also creates a PDF format that allows you to print perfectly on someone else's computer. To get started with this process, open up your Word document of your resume. You're going to save your document, but instead of doing it as a traditional Word document, you're going to change the file type. You're going to actually change it to a PDF and then save it to your studio folder. One of the things about being knowledgeable in file formats is you know what programs can open and close which file formats. In this case, what's cool about a PDF format and why we converted to that was that we can go ahead and open it in Photoshop. So we can go File, Open, open our updated resume, and you'll see I have three pages to my resume, so it's asking me which one I want. I'm going to select the first one. One of the first things you'll notice is the background is transparent, and that's shown by this checkerboard pattern on the back of the document. So we're going to come up to Layer, and we're going to flatten this image. Now it actually looks like a document that we want to use. The second thing that we need to do is to resize this document. The unedited size here is 8.5 by 11, a standard sheet of paper. That's way overkill for the internet. So we're going to go to Image, Image Size, and we need to shrink this down. So what we'll do is we'll change this to actual pixels. Go ahead and shrink it down to something a little more automatic for the internet. And you'll see that it'll shrink it down much smaller. File, Save As. It's going to want to save it by default to a PSD, a Photoshop document. We're going to actually save this to a JPEG. And we'll go ahead and save this to where we can put it next to our PDF file. It's going to ask you how you would like things saved. You can leave it at maximum. It will show you how big the file is going to be. Click OK. And it will go save that in the location that you ask it to save it in. Now that we have gone through these two steps, you should have two files that have been created. One is your PDF file of your resume, and the other is the JPEG image of that PDF file. You're going to need both of these files in the next step when we start to embed this into WordPress. Now that we have those two files in place, we're ready to head over to WordPress where you have a page labeled Bio and Resume from when you set up the shell of your site. We're now going to embed those files to display properly on our WordPress site. To get started in WordPress, we're going to start from our dashboard. We're going to come down the menu until we get to Pages. You'll see that we have the Bio Resume page here, and we're going to edit that. Now we're going to add media to this page. This will take us to our media gallery where we will select the files. We have two to select from, our JPEG image and our PDF, and we're going to do the PDF first. This will upload into WordPress, and you will see under Attachment Display Settings that you have a couple of options. We want to make sure that we choose media file. If your WordPress comes up attachment page by default, you want to make sure that you select media file. Here's why. This gives us the exact URL location on the server where our PDF file is located. Just like when we go to Google or anything else and look for pictures, once we know the exact file location, we can call for it. So in this case, we're going to select it and we're going to copy it to our clipboard so that we can paste it later. We're not even going to worry about it inserting it into pages. 
If we insert it into a page, it will just give us a link. It will not give a picture. That's why we went into Photoshop to create a JPEG image. Now we're going to go back and upload a second JPEG file. Now, at this point, we need to select the JPEG. And on Attachment Display Settings, you will see again, we have some options. Where it says Link to Media File, you have a couple of options there. You can change this to Custom URL. At this point, paste the PDF URL into this page, and when somebody clicks on the picture of the JPEG, it will then automatically open up the PDF so that this way it prints perfectly on their printer. We'll insert this into a page, and you can see now we have the picture. We can go ahead and delete the link itself. Now we'll click Update. Let's go view the page and see what happens. Now we're back on our bio and resume page. You can see that we have the graphic of our actual resume. When we click it, it opens up in a PDF, and this will then print perfectly on somebody else's printer. You don't have to worry about having the right fonts. It's not like the picture is going to print in ways that you don't expect. It makes sure that what you create prints exactly on somebody else's printer.